You ready now? Sweet. Hey everybody, I'm Jason McCullough. Okay. Hey, I'm Audrey Davis. Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Claire Carrier. Um, hi, my name is Katie. I'm Dakota Harvey. Go. My name is Saul Avalos. Go. And we're doing birthday selfies. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, hi, I'm Andy Wang. Go. Hi, my name is Ethan French. I'm Dakota Waddles. Brandon Pepple. Wayne Collin. Brandon Miller. Iris Salzberg. Maddie Rue. Wayne Peterson. AJ Post. Peyton Tunis. Hunter Railing. Jay Pask. Tommy Collin. Andrew Carrier. John Paisecki. Austin Colts. Well, I'm Jason McCullough, and I am with Audrey today to bring you your announcements. Today for lunch, we will be having cheeseburgers, baked beans, snack peas, a banana, and milk. At home base today, there is a science club meeting in room 142. Tonight, there will be parent-teacher conferences from 3.15 until 7.45. Tomorrow, we will not have school, so enjoy your three-day weekend. And speaking of science, we had our science fair on Monday, so let's go to Claire and take a look at some projects. shot and slug at multiple ranges. And so does effect on tooth decay. What affects your ability to jump? The effects of batting stance less on how far the ball will go. All the time. Turn against bacteria and I'll turn it away. Grass germination. Solar infection. What's effect on self-esteem? Flight distance. Talk versus saw. Olive versus salad point bullet accuracy. Music effect on germination. How effective are funny commercials? until the present. To do this, first I created a rubric that looked at, that let me break down numerically anything that could be considered stereotypical or unequitable in female characters in Marvel comic books. After creating that rubric, I went to the BGSU Popular Culture Library and worked there a couple hours a night, and I went through about 788 comic books from 68 different titles, and using that rubric I analyzed their gender roles. The higher the score, the more equitable the gender roles. I had hypothesized that I would be able to show an, a marked improvement from 1960 to 2014. After I finished those 788 comic books, I was able to go through and find the average scores. In 1960, the average score was 12.20, and in 2014, it was 22.50, which is not only statistically significant, but supported my hypothesis. My project this year was using radio frequency energy harvesting uh, near field heat problems to assist the blind in urban environments. So basically, what I did was I made this blind pay that you see here um, with a system that has a uh, it converts information into an audio output. So what it does is when you turn, do you think you turn it on? Maybe here it's going to talk to you in just a second. So basically what it is, is these NFC tags will be layered in the ground, and as a blind person walks by, there's an antenna in the tip of the cane right here, and as they're walking around, they'll pass over it, and there's information on this that this will read. So 
as they walk over it, I can tell them the addresses, street corners, what building they're at, any information that's usually on a sign that only can be read by someone with eyesight. For a person that's blind, can now receive this information, and so they'll have better sense of where they're at and uh, what's going on in a certain building. That they're in. My project was weight. It does weight training affect how fast you can run, and by uh, beating up and tearing apart muscles here, here, and then your arms. You can create faster athletes by doing certain lifts. My hypothesis was that if you do certain workouts, you can become faster. It was proven by this experiment. This year, for my science fair project, I made a hydroelectric rain gutter. I tested to see if it was possible to generate electricity from water running through it. My hypothesis was disproven from a generator that was used, but I still think it is possible to generate electricity using this method. Right, for my science fair project, I was determining what materials could block sound the most. I tested cardboard, paper, a towel, and a Lego wool. And I hypothesized that the towel would block the most sound, but it turned out the Lego wool blocked it the most. Uh, my project was over the effect of various beverages on daphnia. Daphnia are water fleas, and my hypothesis was that uh, sodas would have the most effect, and my hypothesis was supported, and it actually lowered the heart rate, and my uh, proven okay. results showed in the support of the hypothesis. Thanks, Claire, for getting the science fair footage. Now to Katie Starbuck for a weekend weather. Thanks, Jason. Now for our weather. Friday during the day, it will be 23 degrees, 20, with a 20% chance of snow with possible flurries. Friday night will be around 19 degrees. There will also be a 40% chance of snow showers. Saturday during the day will be 23 degrees with a 50% chance of snow. It will also be cold, so wear your coat. Saturday night will be negative 4 degrees with a 10% chance of snow and will be generally clear overnight. Sunday during the day will be 9 degrees and will mainly be sunny with a 10% chance of snow. Sunday night will only be 1 degree with mostly clear skies and light winds. We sing happy birthday to you and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Play. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Kane is in the building. Yeah. Alright, already the show goes on all night. Till the morning we dream so long. Would anybody ever wonder when they would see the sun? Just remember when it comes up. Up, I just laugh, put my kicks up on they desk, unaffected by they threats, then get busy on they ass. See, that's how that shit tell me, man. That's how my daddy raised me. That glittering may not be gold, don't let nobody play me. If you are my homeboy, you never have to pay me. Go on and put your hands up. When times is hard, you stand up. L U P the man, cause a brand that the fans trust. So even if they ban us, they'll never slow my plans up. For 
the father that's there Three in the air for the kids in the ghetto Four for the kids that don't wanna be there None for the trying to hold him back Five in the air for the teacher not scared To tell those kids that's living in the ghetto That the holding back that the world is theirs Yeah, yeah, the world is yours I was once that little boy Terrified of the world Now I'm on a world tour I will give up everything Even start a world war For these ghetto girls and boys I'm rapping around the world for Africa to New York Haiti then I detour Oakland out to Oakland Got the strip to Detroit Say hip hop only destroy Tell them look at me Boy I hope your son don't have a And never be a D boy What you been through, no matter what you into, no matter what you see, when you look outside your